Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Space Rebels where I'm going to set aside the algae rocket for now. We have some math to work out as far as it's concerned because I don't actually know given the dry mass of the tanks whether it can actually make orbit or how many stages it might need. Uh, see the dry mass is 26 kilograms with 60 kilograms of fuel and for those who aren't aware it is a very simple equation called a rocket equation that tells you how fast you can go with a given stage. And so what it does is it takes the fuel mass divided by the dry mass, take the natural logarithm of that, and then multiply by the efficiency of the engine. The efficiency of the engine being in terms of exhaust velocity. Exhaust velocity is 9.81 times some other quantity called a specific impulse. In Kerbal Space Program, we use specific impulse, but the rocket equation, you can just use exhaust velocity and ignore the 9.81. But the issue that I have is I don't know whether this number is in the right units, basically. But we don't know whether it's in seconds, meters per second, or something like that. I suspect that this is the exhaust velocity, in which case this has a specific impulse of about 600, which is very efficient for an engine. And obviously more than double or double or more than double the efficiency of any of the other engines we have here, which is sort of unrealistic. But helpful, obviously, it makes it indispensable. Uh, but I can't verify for sure that that's the right number. I mean, that's, you know, the right units. We'll have to do some tests to work that out. In any case, uh, with that kind of efficiency, it's possible to use the algae barrels, but it's still really, really horrible. Uh, to give you an idea, the, the algae barrels have a fuel mass of 70%. So 70% of it is fuel, 30% is dry mass. Compared to the hydrogen tank here, only 5% of this is dry mass. The other 95% is fuel. So it's a huge difference. And so whether we can actually get to orbit with that kind of gap is tough to say. So I'm gonna set it aside for now and try and uh, we'll maybe send, uh, spend an episode working out the, the actual quantity of this, whether this is actually the specific impulse or not, we'll have to do some testing. But I would like to build an orbital rocket this time, and somebody had suggested making a two-dimensional Soyuz, and I'm gonna do that, and we'll try and make it as efficient as possible. We, we will use the hydrogen tanks, even though, of course, Soyuz isn't a hydrogen rocket. I mean, this is just the name of the tank. I don't actually believe it has anything to do with hydrogen, really. Well, I mean, maybe it originally contained hydrogen, and now we're gonna put fuel in. Anyway, so, yeah. I'll put it together. I don't know about using the oxidizer. As I've already demonstrated uh, in the career mode, because of the dry mass of the oxygen tanks, I'm not convinced that they provide any good thing to us at all. Uh, for instance, this tank is also like the algae barrel. It's 70% oxygen, 30% dry mass, and the others are just as bad. So, we... I don't know if I want it, basically. So, yeah, we'll, but we'll think about that. That might be another further experiment. What if we have a really, really big rocket? Does it help? But for now, let me scrap this one for now. We'll clear... we we'll clear this, and we will build a nice big rocket, and I will see what kind of payload we can get to orbit with it. Okay, so I've done most of the building off recording, but I've noticed something strange. We get a lot of drag on this side and not a lot on this side. Maybe that's because only this engine is hooked up. I'm not sure. Obviously we get some drag on the decoupler here, but you can see how I'm trying to make the Soyuz and we're going with the pool parts and we're just gonna take the mass of them for now and we'll sort of cut back on the mass if we need to. Uh, to see how we can optimize it. But first we'll make it look good and then we'll optimize. Uh, but yeah, it's just interesting. How oh, now, see, I picked this part up. Hold on. See, now, it's not producing any drag on this side, apparently. It doesn't say, it doesn't give me the green arrows, right? But then when I copy this part and put this here, now it shows them. See, it is a sort of false advertising in this game. I don't mind playing by the game's rules, but it has to be consistent about them. <laughs> it has to give me the proper feedback here. 
so all right. Anyway, but obviously we're gonna have some aerodynamic issues because I'm trying to make these tapered things and there aren't nose cones in this shape. We could put fins, but it might imbalance everything. We could try that out though. But uh, yeah, so still working on this. I'll proceed for a little bit. And I need to figure out what kind of payload I can put on. Try to make it fancy. I mean, I guess we can combine... I guess... What was the big payload anyway? Do we not get the big... Satellite anymore? Is that not a part that we get to use here? Apparently we don't get to use the big satellite, which is sad. Okay, so the main rocket is connected up. I've got the pot pumps as our turbo pumps here. I've decided that we won't do fuel crossfeed from the boosters in. And uh, we'll reconsider that later to get better efficiency. Basically, we're getting the lowest possible amount here. <laughs> okay. And now we need a payload. We're over five tons now, four tons of fuel. We have no upper stage, so this is just an R7 rocket. And I've decided not to put the verniers, that's too complicated. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, um, well, it's much easier for them than it will be for us uh, to put the verniers. But it's not very heavy right now. We need to have something that justifies this massive rocket here. We should at least put some mannequins in. Oh, mannequins are pretty big. We need a spacecraft that can fit at least one mannequin. Preferably not chopped up. Maybe it's okay to put the mannequin upside down. Oh, we can't even see the mannequin though, like this. But anyway, one mannequin. <laughs> I want to have maneuvering thrusters. But that seems... Difficult. <laughs> hmm. So that's the mannequin area. This is the service module area. That's a compact engine. We will need something small. Maybe a lot of junk, junk engines are the best deal. We certainly don't need a lot of thrust. A complete lack of efficiency, though, is not good. We didn't need any gating on the first stage, but we will here, obviously. I mean, we only need to do things in two dimensions in theory, though we do seem to get roll problems. Spherical tank. Then we don't need a pump. But we do need gates. I don't know how much of the mannequin's room we're taking up with this, but... It's gonna have to happen. I don't know how tightly we can do this. I'll mean that some of the thrusters have more thrust than the other ones though. Ah, uh, It's not ideal. No, I guess this one isn't necessary actually. We have too many. Seems that way. We've got four gates, three splitters, four engines. That's how it's supposed to work. And we will put these on the last few digits. Okay, we have a spacecraft. We probably didn't need to taper it in like this. <laughs> the mannequin's feet sticking out like that. Okay. Aerodynamics is still gonna be harsh. Lots of thrust from this one, because it's the first one that got split off. So that's not super wonderful. Um, we'll just try it out, but I could probably feed it a little bit differently. It's not that heavy a payload, but it's an interesting payload, darn it. And we'll see how heavy it is once we get up there. So those will all be gated. 
these skin blinks are all left right. These will trigger with one, that's fine. The fuel feed is constants uh, throughout the main stack, just like with an R7 rocket. Okay, well, we got the little fins at the bottom. And it says the aerodynamics is alright, though this is a little bit offset. Okay, hopefully that'll be more balanced. Alrighty, 5.4 ton rocket. Let's see what happens. Does it look good enough? Definitely put a mannequin in there. What was the name of the mannequin that they put into the early Soviet spacecraft? There was a name for it. I forget what it's called. And... Launch. Well, it's frisky. Of course, it's all pool parts and no... Oh, there's some wires that are sort of sticking out. Though. Oh my god, the gimbling is all... Oh right, I haven't turned down the gimbling. Oh no, okay, okay. Uh, no, 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 finish. Back to design, please. I have to turn down that so that I can control it. I could use the auto gimbal, but I don't want to. All of that has to be rewired? I didn't even move that. Hmm. Okay, we're all hooked up again. Okay, seems okay. Right, don't stand this close to your rockets. Go. Four G's off the ground. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I should just not gimbal the outer engines. This is why the R7 rockets just use verniers. <laughs> Little tiny steering engines. See? We learn things. We should try to get to like a moon apoapsis or something. Okay, booster staging. Horizontal speed is almost orbital already. We can't actually stop this rocket, it occurs to me. <laughs> I actually don't know what the decoupler probably is on two automatically, but I'm not sure. Horizontal speed, nine kilometers per second. So we can definitely carry more than this. We're definitely going way beyond 160 kilometers. Why don't we see if we can get to 300,000 kilometers? I don't know if it'll let us. Hmm. Anyway, is the decoupling on two? I think so. Okay. So. Oh, that's not the two. We can maneuver. But we don't have gimbling. It would be easier if I just put them on gimbling, you know. Why does it stop? It doesn't physics right. Oh, it switched vessels. Oh, how do I stop it from doing that? See, I'm, I'm controlling the other one. You should focus on it. You should focus on it. Oh, now I can't stop the engines. It's a little bit hard if it decides to switch vessels on me like that. Definitely upload video, because otherwise I won't have the craft file. Bloated. It's definitely bloated. Powerhouse. Yes. Definitely is. Button sensors. I like to connect, yeah. Complicated. Well, trident is definite. Giant. What's What, what the, defines a giant rocket anyway? So we need to weigh this down, basically. We can just clip things in. And the easiest thing to clip in is probably more fuel. Especially the horrible gas bottles. Let's pretend it's... Extra life support or whatever. I don't know where the mannequin is, so we're just gonna assume that because we only put things in a certain number of dimensions, it's all right. Recycle tank. So we're just loading it up with fuel because that's probably the densest thing I can put in. We could just overlap. No, I guess we can't overlap the fuel tanks though. We can overlap the structural parts. I guess, um, 
now's the time for the wheelbarrow. Let's see. Pimped wheelbarrow. Ah, uh, we'll toss it in. Uh, let's put it the other way around. So it doesn't stick out. And let's put another one that's flipped around. Okay. So now we've loaded this up. I'm gonna take off the gimbals on the outside here. Okay, so no more gimbling on the boosters. Spacecraft loaded up, and we'll see how heavy it is. If we, like, just barely make orbit kind of thing. Okay. Getting data up. I should have removed the turbo pumps as well. And maybe we can fix the clipping issues. We want a nice looking... Oh god, it's gone off to one side. It's gone off to one side. No! Oh, it sure, sure can control itself, but we should start off with a uh, more balanced rocket here. How did that happen? It seems like this is through the center, right? What is that line? I don't know what those lines are. Yeah, it has this line going there. That seems ominous. The thrust vectors seem fine. Aerodynamics is obviously all over the place, but... We knew that already. And it didn't affect the last one. Okay, well, I I'll bite. I guess I'll just have to... Do the aerodynamics. I uh, do the gimbling on all of them and just limit it. Gim steer speed 3 now. As far as the pumps are concerned... We'll have a much longer lasting core stage and not have a pump here. Okay, so this is the new version. Oh, it only says 2880 power? Really? That doesn't seem, seem quite right, right? Oh, it was only in that mode. Okay, fine. 271,000. That's that's more like it. All right. Okay, have to get the information out again. And launch. It's still going off to one side. Uh, uh I, maybe I can fix it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know what it's up to. Right from the start, maybe because we're on une uh, we're uneven on the ground. I don't know. I also don't know why cluster engine three is at the bottom, separated from the other two. But anyway, we're uh, going well now. Using all of my CPU, so the recording might not be great. Hope it's all right. We're just trying to barely get into orbit here with the heavier payload. We'll see. We should have our mass up. Okay, booster staging. No! No! Okay. It's game and the way it decides to focus on things. Okay, well, we're a little bit high. But horizontal speed is okay. We're just going going to be a little bit high. So let's separate the spacecraft and see how much mass it is. 500 kilograms right now. So it is an independent spacecraft of 500 kilograms that will... Stay focused on it though, okay? It's maneuverable. Darn it. Mostly fuel tanks that are not hooked up, but you know, we probably don't need that much. Can we deorbit, I suppose? Okay. Oh, it lost focus on it. 
Oh, now it focused on again. Hold on. Um, I don't know whether we're going to be decelerating like this or not, but... Yeah, it is. Oh, or not. <laughs> we can't gimbal. We can only do that, but it sort of doesn't... It sort of snaps to an angle. It has a weird form of SAS up here. We're, we don't have enough fuel. Well, we have enough fuel to the orbit, but we don't have it all hooked up is the problem. Uh, but yeah, we didn't quite deorbit. We slowed down a bit. I wonder if it will re-enter. Let's see. I can't time warp though, so this is going to take some time. Oh no, but then it focuses on this. Is there any way I can convince you that this is not what I want to focus on? By the way, it shouldn't. This shouldn't re-enter. This wasn't the orbit. Oh, now it's on this one. But uh, are we going to just have a nice stable periapsis? So the way we would, we would be able to tell is eventually our vertical speed is going negative here. This is it going negative? But eventually at zero at some number above one hundred and sixty is what we want. Maybe if we're following, it won't change to the other craft, hopefully. I don't know, we're going down pretty fast. A vertical speed of 1.9 kilometers per second. We're definitely going to get back into the atmosphere like that. I don't think orbits in this game are really, really orbits. Pretty sure it doesn't do orbital mechanics. What if it's a flat Earth? Well, let's see. Oh. It just destroyed it. Ah, cheats. Anyway, okay, finish. Record loopings. Viral tag. Um, dress up, apparently. <laughs> For using a mannequin and combining it with 10 other parts from other sets. Well, yeah. Bloated. Um, truck. No. Giant. We'll stick to giant. Complicated. Yeah. Powerhouse. And not not really a skeleton when you think of all the pool parts, but it still thinks of it as a skeleton, so we'll go with it. Okay. Um Soyuz 2. <laughs> yes. In the, in this world this is Soyuz 2. We sort of went sideways first. So I think, you know, uh, probably a little bit more payload capacity. What I want to do now is see if we can get a high... I, I think with the physics being what it is, it's not going to let us get a very high apoapsis, but I want to try. So what we want to do is cut this down. We, we don't want an independent spacecraft at all. Uh, we want a nice big nose cone, uh, well, a set of nose cones to protect Aero. We can actually have sort of. We don't. We don't need a decoupler. We're just gonna launch the entire darn thing over. I don't think there's any benefit with the weird physics to send just a little part. Maybe it'll decelerate less. No, I don't think so. Okay, we'll we'll put the mannequin on the top of this. Upside down. It might even be partially visible this time. So that's improved aerodynamics, as you can see. It's not have the foot sticking out. Though still issues on this side. We could do something with that, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Now why is it tilting? I mean, these look to be... well, maybe... A little bit like this. Oh. Okay. Hopefully. We sure don't need that much turbo pump power. But that'll help us get through the atmosphere quicker. Let's see where we get.
think I'm just gonna launch it straight up. I don't know. If if the world isn't properly round and overall mechanics aren't working properly, then I don't know if there's any benefit going sideways. I mean, except for, you know, getting the required horizontal speed, right? So maybe we should just go straight up if we want to hit 300,000 kilometers. Anyway, that's my theory. Go! Oh, it's doing that again. Stop. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know why it wants to go off to one side initially. I'm, I want to go up. We're, well, uh, no, we're getting accidental horizontal speed. No. Ah, ah, stop. Very hard to control it when its G's are this high. Uh. Give me booster set. <laughs> I should cross feed in the boosters, maybe. It's too much. I think it, it just doesn't want to thrust up here. Okay, booster set. Oh no, it's following the wrong thing. No! Oh no. Yeah, it was impossible to control there. Let's take off the turbo pumps and see if that helps. We could wait and see where these go to, but it's going to take a while. No, I keep doing escape. All right, let's just take off the turbo pumps. Keep going. Correcting the angle. Oh, with lots of... Oh, now all the engines are... Everything is depleting at the same rate, though. Shoot. Really want that. Maybe you should just turn off the core. <laughs> uh, maybe we should gate the core. It's really hard. Uh, it's just nonsensical the way it turns up here. There's some weird thing going. It's very glitchy. Uh, see, now it's just flipping around and around. It just doesn't understand how to do things up here. Well... That's as good as we can get. I, I don't think it beats out. There was another attempt at a really high altitude that I did during the, the story mode. And I don't think this beats that out. And we can't even see it. Uh, follow. I think they did that to prevent us from doing what I'm trying to do. That's my theory. Where, where's the negative 18 meters per second squared coming from, by the way? You note that? Where's all that gravity coming from? How are we decelerating that much? It's all messed up. It's just all messed up. Anyway, but, you know... I, it's all right. I'm I'm trying to play around with this game's physics. It uh, allows me to stretch my brain a little bit after working with boring old regular physics for a while. Anyway, I think I've answered uh, my main question. We could get a 500 kilogram spacecraft to orbit. I guess maybe let's try a ton. Let's try a ton because Mercury was a ton. Let's see if we can do that at least. So, first of all, we might as well get more aerodynamics on it. Let's see. Yeah. Fine. I mean, why not put more nose cones since we're adding more heft to it? That's the goal. Oh, the NSR structure. Well, there's that stuff. That's 10 kilograms a piece. I'm just going to load them in. Two. Three. Get some more of these. One, two. Knew these would be good for something, right? Uh, well, we'll make some fancy rockets with them later. Okay, I believe we have a one-ton thing. I just piled in these NSR structural parts. We will also cross-feed in the fuel, I think, now. Well, we'll need some structure here where I had not placed structure before. 
I think maybe I had something not hooked up right before. Maybe that's why I was going off course. Okay. So, I think we've got a one ton craft up there. I think we've got fuel cross feeding in. But who knows. Uh, let's try it out and see what happens. Okay, a very imposing place to stand as usual. They really didn't think I'd be doing this, huh? No, it's still going off to one side. So, thing I thought was a problem was not the problem. We really need to be more efficient this time since we are carrying double the load. Probably not the best trajectory ever right now. Doesn't seem like the boosters are feeding much faster than before though. I guess it just ends up giving the center engine more thrust instead of moderating propellant usage. Because I keep thinking of Kerbal Space Program where the engines have constant thrust. And so cross feeding doesn't work like that in here. Okay, off those go. Oh, the gimbling is not working right here right now. Okay, now, uh, uh, nope. Maybe it's just weak. Well, let's see where we get to. Guess it isn't going down as fast as before there. Yeah, we definitely went too high. Okay, maybe if we, we go a little bit shallower we can do this. There's another viral tag though. Oh, oh gosh. That's probably one I've used before. Okay, 15 kilometers. Trying to get it to turn lower. Certainly not a whole lot of stress issues with these rockets. Okay, booster sub. Please let me... Yes, thank you. And But right now the gimbling isn't working right. Oh no, it changed! What am I gonna do? No! Yeah, okay. Well, alright. They messed us up. Fine. Uh, uh, we'll see. I, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Dress up again. Whatever. I, I want to upload the video though, so we save this version. But uh, I need a way to... Make sure that we focus on the right thing. Maybe changing camera will do. I'm not sure. But for now, I think I will leave it here. Okay, so with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.